just had to get better. What uh, what went into this whole thing for you? Was, was part of the process for you? Uh, started at the at the top with some, you know, put the black uh, part first, and then went down and trying to find the a right uh, combination between red and yellow to create orange. As you can see, the orange is so and so just at the top. And then we, and then I put some, you know, uh, shadows. And, and the last part was the ball and the lines on the ball. So that was the that was the process. Is it painting or, or rehab work? Are you able to enjoy more? Than Ooh, uh, both. Uh, probably painting is uh, is actually harder than the rehab. <laughs> Uh, no, but uh, both. Uh, of course, this this painting was easier to do and quicker than my rehab process, but I like both. Kind of quickly, one more event today. What, what does it mean to you to represent the Celtics, be a part of the community, and you know, kind of take some time with some people? Today? Uh, I think it's great. It's part of our job, but it's the part that I that I think I can talk for my teammates too. We like the most because we you get. You know, you have the chance to get out of, uh, you know, your you know, usual places where you go to work and play basketball and you have the chance to get, you know, close to the community and understand what, you know, what's going on uh, with, the, with the city, what's going on with the community and just uh, spend time with them. Uh, a lot of times maybe uh, they cannot come to the games to see us and so we, uh, we go out and uh, check on them. I had some more questions, but you can put the painting down now. Yeah. We're well, all set there. All right. Thank you. Danil, how, how is rehab going and where are you at right now? Uh, rehab is going very well. Um, like I said at the beginning, you know, these, these kind of rehabs, you got to take it day by day, week by week and month by month. It's tough to, you know, make any predictions on what's going to happen in two months, three months, four months. But as of now, it's going very well. And what kind of things, what kind of like boxes have you checked so far? I kind of see you running at practice. Uh, yeah, we shooting. started doing stuff on the court. Um, you know, we're doing uh, testing every week and every month. You need to compare the testing, see where the testing is at, how, how, how better, uh, how much better you're getting every week and every month, uh, comparing one leg to the other um, and see where you're at. And right now, uh, fortunately, I was able to do stuff on the court, which is more, you know, more fun than the other boring part that is part of the re ACI rehab, especially the first few months. Um, um, so that's that's about it. You, you've kind of talked about the hope you have to come back this year. Uh, what's it going to take and how much hope have you been given that that can happen? Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, uh, the same work that I've been putting in every day. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the hope to play is not just is also a motivational thing that you know, when I wake up every morning and go to the gym to work is a is a great motivation to me to to know that um, I have uh, I have the chance to be a part of something special, right? So um, I don't know if it's gonna happen. If it's not gonna happen, that's uh, out of my control right now. Uh, so, but it's something that I have in my head and it pushes me every day. Do you feel like you're close? You personally? Uh, I feel that I'm that I'm doing well. Honestly, I don't know how much more I can, you know, tell you about what I'm feeling because that's that's just what I'm feeling right now. That the rehab is going very well. Uh, I feel very well. I'm happy with the progress. And that's it. How much can you share about a time when you were optimistically as somebody said, "Hey, you need the next 30 days." Uh, I wish I could share something like this because it would make me feel better if I could share something like this. But honestly, like I said, I don't know because even with the trainers, we take it week by week and you gotta measure the improvements day by day, week by week, and month by month. Do something to do a, make a prediction right now, honestly, stuff. I know you've had this injury before, but I'm just wondering what this is like compared to that. Obviously, it was several years ago in terms of how it feels or, or your recovery. Uh, the recovery is similar. It's pretty similar to the recovery that I had the first time, uh, so it's not a lot of difference. It's pretty, pretty similar. How can you best describe the emotions you felt through this whole process? Right? Obviously, it's a contender coming off the finals, and for this to kind of get in the way before we even got started. Uh, it's tough. It's tough, and when. You know, unfortunately, when I think about my career and you think about the injuries that I had, the big injuries, they always came at the worst time ever because they came when I, when I was a rookie, when you had to, you know, come to the league and earn the respect and show everybody what you're made of and what you're capable of, capable of and boom, I have back surgery. And then uh, in the best time of my career, best time playing in the best team that I ever played uh, before this team and best time of my, like, 
my shape. Uh, I was in my prime when I was you know, my third season in Denver, I think. Boom, my ACL comes in the first time, right, right a week before playoffs, when the team is doing great and is projected to go far, uh, in, far in the playoffs. And then signed with the Celtics, great team, went to the final last year, great, you know, uh, great goals and great achievements in mind, and boom, ACL comes again. So always at the wrong time, the worst time, but. You know, always came back stronger than before and I'm still you know, playing basketball and after 15 years in the league I'm still here fighting and playing uh, and having fun with basketball. So. I imagine your teammates have really seen you busting it to get back. How much support do you have from those guys? A lot of support. A lot of support uh, on the road, at home. Uh, they see me you know, working hard every day and they're very supportive. They, uh, you know, talking to them, they talked to me and I was able, like I said, to stay close to the team, follow the team on the bench, through the, uh, at the games, in practice, and that's, that's been great. You may have said this already, if I missed it, but what has it been like to watch this team and how successful they've been so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, very happy for the guys. They're doing a great job. Uh, they're very focused. Um, and, you know, these just, you know, a half the season, so it's still a lot, a lot of things to, uh, a lot of things to do, a lot of games to play. Uh, but they're doing a great job. Do you watch it and say to yourself, I can help in this way? Like, I, I know that my skills uh, are... Yeah, of course, I, I know I can help. Uh, and it's, it's tough to... It's, it's great to watch them doing this, this good, and it's tough to watch them because I cannot be there to help and, and be a part of something special. Uh, but the time is going to come. The team is looking to make moves to the the roster since you're injured. You know, obviously, they might need to use your salary to make these great moves. What has the team told you about the possibilities? Uh, we haven't talked about it. We haven't talked about the trade situation. Uh, but, you know, I'm 34 years old. I've been in the league 15 years. Whatever happened, happens. Uh, it's out of my control. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on my job. I take it day by day. You know, that's the only way that I know. And that's the way, the best way to do it. Because if you get worried too much about what is going to happen, which is something that is out of our control as players, is, is going to be, you're going to be in trouble. So it's better just to not think about it. Just focus on, on your job daily. What would be your message to a team that would trade for you uh, like play for this year in the future? Uh, no, no message. Because the, mess, the message is that you know everybody, even if everybody knows what an ACL rehab looks uh, is going to look like, and what I'm doing right now, uh, what's the stage of my rehab, and so I don't have any messages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.